special uh, core workout for Tammy. So first thing we're going to do is we have to work on every part of the core. So I'm going to do two exercises for each different segment. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to do lower back. A couple exercises for that. And um, so I'm going to start out. Uh, I'm going to get down on my belly. And now, you ready for the timer there? I already did it. Okay, Jason's my handy. <laughs> okay, now right. I'm going to lift myself up. Start. And see, I'm spreading my arms out. So not only am I getting my lower back, but I'm also getting a little bit of my upper back, too. You want to get your quads up. You want to really get a good stretch. Squeeze and then down. Squeeze and then down. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all these exercises just for 30 seconds, just for, you know, time's sake. So you should go through it once. Time. And then you're going to do it again. Okay, the next one we're going to do for the lower back is a reverse plank. So take this ball, sit on it, walk it all the way forward, get the legs extended. Now, you don't want any bend in the knee. You just want them completely straight on the heels. Get it all the way out, so just your shoulders and your head are resting on the ball. Start. Put your hands like this, and you got to keep your butt up the whole time. And while you do it, try to think, you know, just try to imagine yourself pulling higher, 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 and just keep it up there as much as you can. You know, you'll feel this not only in your lower back, you also feel it in your glutes and your hamstrings. Time. Okay. So those are your two that you should do for your lower back. And I like to always change them around. You know, I usually try to do two for each area, but uh, not always the same. But, you know, we can start out with these for now. Okay, the next one we're going to do is called a hip thrust quark screws. So I'm down on my back. I put my hands like this so I can't cheat and push off. You want to do this and not get momentum. You want to do it just all through the abs. Start. And see, I'm pushing up. It's a hip thrust, but I'm turning. So I'm getting a little bit into my obliques, too. Time. Okay. Next one. Exercise ball rolling. Okay. Yeah, that's one better. Okay, to get on your ball, go behind it, and then come over it. Keep walking. And you want to go all the way, so just your shins are on there, and. Get in position. Now, don't let yourself sink into your shoulders. You want to keep your abs up tight. Think belly button is fine. And pull in. Am I on time? Start. Good. All the way in, all the way out. Each time, just concentrate on keeping those abs in. Time. Okay. Next one, we're going to focus more on the rectus abdominis, the six pack muscles. So the first one I'm going to do is just your regular sit ups. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this ball, put my legs on it, to take any kind of pressure out of my hip flexors so I can just concentrate on my abdominals and make sure. Chin is always up. Imagine there's a ball there. Arms are wide. You should never see your elbows. Keep them out like that. And then you're going to come up. Now, when you come up, I want you to think abs, 
shoulders, head. Head comes up last. Time. Come up. Exhale. Then think about holding your abs. If there's a corset around it, hold it as tight as you can. And fight against it. Fight against it. And see the little shake? Fight against it. You know, that's what a lot of people do is they just boom. It's about the up and the down. Hold it tight. Fight it. Time. Okay. Now the next one we're going to do, and you can also do that if you wanted to do a variation. You put your arms like this and do that same move. You're going to feel it a little bit higher up in your abs. Rid of the ball. Now, I'm going to put my legs like this. So, soles of my feet together, legs hang out to the side. Put your hands like this. Again, chin up, arms out. Don't wait to see those elbows. And you want to go abs, shoulders, head. Same exact way you did the elbow. Okay, time. 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 Fight against it. Try to get that shake. Time. Okay. And next one. This is one of my favorite things. The bender ball. And you can also just pick up any kind of Pilates ball. And what you're going to do is you're going to roll it. So it's a little bit underneath your, your glutes. Get your knees bent, feet flat, and I'm going to put my hands here over my chest, and I'm going to go, your time? Time. I'm going to go all the way back, and then come up, but I'm going to stop before I lose the contraction. When you come up to here, you lose it. So you're going to go all the way over the ball, and come up to about there. All the way over the ball, come up to about there. And going over the ball, that activates a lot more of the abdominal muscles. When you just go from the floor up, you, you're not working the wall as much as you could. This definitely is a lot harder. Time. Okay. Now I'm going to do that same one, but I'm going to do it just with little pulses. Start. So, Okay. Now, the next one, so that's a, a bunch that just work on the rectus abdominis. Now we're going to do some oblique work. First one I'm going to do, I'm going to use my bench.